August 2025 delivered a wave of breakthroughs that didn't just make headlines, they reshaped industries. In this video, we're breaking down the top 10, 15 tech innovations released this month. Let's start at number 15 with Google's new approach to AI-powered image editing that's raising both excitement and concern. Number 15, Google Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, Nano Banana. On August 26th, Google introduced Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, nicknamed Nano Banana. The model focuses on fast, high-quality image editing and generation. It excels at maintaining character consistency across multiple images, a problem many AI systems still struggle with. Every output is stamped with SynthID, Google's invisible watermark designed to identify AI-generated content. TechRadar highlighted its speed, claiming it outpaces ChatGPT's image generator by up to six times. The Washington Post noted the promise of realistic edits, but also the risk of misinformation spreading as the line between real and synthetic visuals gets thinner. Number 14, OpenAI GPT-5 Launch. Just weeks earlier, on August 7th, OpenAI launched GPT-5. The model introduced a dynamic router, letting it decide between fast answers or slower, more detailed reasoning. Reports from InfoQ and the Financial Times showed performance gains of about 40% over GPT-4 in coding and logic tasks. GPT-5 also runs multimodally, handling text, images, and voice in one system. But the rollout drew criticism. Users complained of glitches, limited weekly message caps, and reduced creativity compared to GPT-4.0. In response, OpenAI restored access to legacy models for some, showing how closely people watch changes in ChatGPT. Number 13, DeepMind Genie 3. DeepMind unveiled Genie 3 on August 5th, a system that generates fully interactive environments directly from text prompts. Unlike earlier models, it can sustain coherent, navigable scenes for up to a minute at 24 frames per second. This means typing a city street at night produces a space you can explore in real time without needing a heavy game engine. Ultralytics and InfoQ described Genie 3 as a step toward accessible simulation tools. While still research-focused, it suggests new uses in training, education, and creative prototyping, where AI doesn't just describe the world, but creates explorable ones. Number 12. Stanford's Virtual AI Scientists in early August, Stanford Medicine announced a system of multi-agent virtual scientists designed to accelerate drug discovery. Within days, the agents generated 92 novel COVID-19 drug candidates, two of which showed strong binding to new variants. Stanford reported that these models collaborate autonomously, proposing hypotheses, running simulations, and refining results without direct human prompts. Outlets like Pimits and Open Access Government highlighted how this approach could reduce research timelines from years to weeks. The development adds to the debate over how far autonomous AI should go in critical fields like medicine, where accuracy and oversight are non-negotiable. Number 11. Paramount's $7.7 .7 billion UFC streaming deal. On August 11th, Paramount struck a seven-year, $7.7 .7 billion deal for exclusive U.S. broadcasting rights to UFC events. Starting in 2026, every numbered card and fight night will stream on Paramount+, Plus, with select fights simulcast on CBS. Routers and ESPN noted this ends UFC's reliance on pay-per-view, a business model that defined the sport for decades. Dana White called it a turning point for mixed martial arts arts while analysts compared the deal's scale to the NFL's streaming contracts. The agreement signals how sports media is shifting towards streaming platforms as the primary distribution channel. Number 10. Ford's $2 billion EV pickup retooling Also on August 11th, Ford confirmed a $2 billion investment to retool its Louisville assembly plant for a new mid-size electric pickup launching in 2027. The truck is expected to start at around $30,000, aiming at the affordable EV market. AP News reported that the project will create about 2,200 jobs in Kentucky. 
Ford said it'll use a new three-branch assembly tree manufacturing approach to boost efficiency. Car and Driver described the move as a direct response to competition from China's growing EV sector, signaling Ford's intent to compete globally on price and scale. Number 9. Texas AI-Powered Helicopters on August 1st, Texas A&M announced a $59.8 million project, partly funded by DARPA, to convert UH-60 Blackhawks into AI-powered pilotless helicopters. The system will help with wildfire response by performing tasks like water drops, surveillance, and supply delivery without human pilots on board. The Houston Chronicle noted that autonomous flights will be tested across the state over the next few years. Texas officials said the aim is to reduce risks for firefighters as wildfires become more severe. This project reflects how AI is moving from labs into real-world emergency response systems. Number 8. Revel EV Charging Pivot on August 11th, Revel, known for its electric moped and rideshare service, announced it was shutting down its ride-hailing business to focus entirely on EV charging infrastructure. The Verge reported that the company already operates fast charging hubs in New York City and San Francisco, with dozens more planned across major U.S. cities. Inc. Magazine noted this was Revel's second major pivot since its founding in 2018. The move comes as EV adoption rises, but charging infrastructure lags behind, especially in dense urban areas. Revel is betting that charging, not ride-sharing, will define its long-term role in the EV space. Number 7. South Korea's 8% AI Funding Boost in mid-August, South Korea approved an 8% increase in its national AI budget, the biggest jump in four years. The funds will go toward research, infrastructure, and programs designed to keep pace with the U.S. and China in AI competitiveness. CoinGeek reported that the government plans to expand support for domestic chip makers and AI startups. Officials described the boost as a strategic necessity, given rising competition in generative AI and hardware. While smaller than investments seen in the U.S. or E.U., the move underscores South Korea's intent to secure a foothold in the global AI race. Number 6. Microsoft Windows 11 AI Update Microsoft rolled out its August 2025 update to Windows 11, featuring new Copilot-powered tools built directly into the operating system. Windows Central reported that users can now perform system recovery, manage settings, and troubleshoot using natural language instead of menus. The update also introduced contextual assistance, allowing Copilot to recommend fixes or shortcuts based on how the computer is being used. While relatively small compared to AI model launches, this update marked a practical shift, embedding generative AI at the core of the world's most widely used desktop operating system, potentially changing how everyday tasks get done. Number 5. Google's $9 billion AI Data Centers, Oklahoma in August, Google confirmed a $9 billion investment to expand its AI data center infrastructure in Oklahoma. The project focuses on high-performance facilities optimized for training large AI models while using renewable energy sources. Local reports highlighted that thousands of jobs are expected from construction and long-term operations. Crescendo.ai noted that this investment is one of Google's largest single-state tech builds. With AI workloads demanding more power and scale, this expansion shows how cloud infrastructure is becoming the foundation for staying competitive in the global AI race. Number 4. Reliance Intelligence Launch, India on August 29th, Mukesh Ambani announced Reliance Intelligence, a new AI subsidiary of Reliance Industries, during the company's annual general meeting. The Economic Times reported that the initiative is backed by partnerships with Google and Meta. Ambani said the goal is to position India as a leader in AI over the next decade. The subsidiary will focus on applied AI for industries like healthcare, education, and finance. Analysts noted that this marks one of the biggest corporate-led AI pushes in Asia, signaling how nations outside the U.S. and China are now stepping up investments in artificial intelligence. Number 3. OpenAI Broadcom Chip Deal 
In late August, the Financial Times reported that OpenAI struck a deal with Broadcom to mass-produce its custom AI chips, with production expected to start in 2026. The move is aimed at reducing reliance on NVIDIA, whose GPUs have been the backbone of AI training. OpenAI has already been designing inference chips internally, but this marks a shift towards scaling hardware at the same level as its software. Analysts describe the partnership as one of the most significant hardware plays in the AI sector this year, potentially reshaping the competitive balance in AI computing. Number 2. Meta Google $10 billion Cloud Partnership Toward the end of August, reports from TS2 Tech confirmed a $10 billion cloud infrastructure partnership between Meta and Google. The agreement will see Meta use Google's cloud services for AI workloads, expanding its capacity for model training and data management. Analysts saw the deal as significant because it aligns two tech giants that typically compete. It also reflects the escalating costs of AI infrastructure, with companies pooling resources rather than going it alone. The partnership is another example of how cloud computing has become the quiet but essential battleground in the AI industry. Number 1. Deep Cogito Version 2 Released between July 31st and August 1st, Deep Cogito Version 2 introduced four new open-source hybrid reasoning models, ranging from 70B to 671B parameters. These models emphasize reasoning efficiency by internalizing intuition cutting down the number of steps required to reach conclusions. Outlets like VentureBeat and Artificial Intelligence News reported that the models performed strongly on logic benchmarks while maintaining lower inference costs. By releasing them openly, Deep Cogito positioned itself as a counterweight to closed systems like GPT-5. Many in the research community see this as an important step toward democratizing access to advanced reasoning AI. And that wraps up the 15 biggest tech and AI releases from August 2025. From billion dollar infrastructure plays to open source breakthroughs, this month proved that innovation isn't slowing, it's accelerating. The developments we've seen will ripple across industries from healthcare to entertainment and from emergency response to global cloud infrastructure. Which of these stood out to you most? If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.